Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Build with me, Engineered. Today we'll be looking at uh, my most popular creation. It's of course the the first Batmobile, hiding a bat bike or bat pod or what you like to call it. As you can see, the frame rate are horrible. This is the actual frame rate. In the show off video, I had to sped it up a lot. For this episode, I will not show you a complete build, because I didn't even record it. But I will show you how I did it. And uh, when I built it, I was smart, so I took a backup uh, when the frame was done. So I think we'll start there, so we don't have to watch this, these frames. Okay. And here it is. With this frame, it's easier to show you what's going on, how I did it, because now we can uh, we can see through the car. So as you can see, it's not that advanced. It's just a bike kept in the middle of the car, and on the sides here, we have some hinges. So that the bike can drive out, and also okay, we can. I will go through this uh, later in the video also, but I will remove the link. And this is where you always have to have a backup, because when you remove the link and exit the game, when you go in again, all those connections between the bike and the car is lost. So that's the glitch. So ju let's just remove this. There we go. So obviously this is where the back wheels of the bike stands and they get lifted up. And maybe you saw this one hook underneath the car to keep the front up. And also this on the sides push in so the bike gets stuck where it should be and since the key mapping is uh, WASD on the car and uh, 1, 2, 3 with the thrusters and 4 to go back I can drive them both at the same time So let's just watch this. It's harder than it looks because I have to do it opposite. Okay, there. Right. So this is uh, how I normally build in Scrap Mechanic. I build a working frame uh, and then I put on all the blocks to make it look good and that way uh, I don't get that much problems because it works already before I'm making it ready okay so what I think we will do I will show you the bike and how it works And then we can uh, build like a test car around the bike just to show you. So those two thrusters is obviously to stare. The one is key mapped one, and the other one is key mapped key mapped three. So it's easy to use with the same hand as uh, WASD. These two are to, get to go in reverse. These two obviously to drive. And uh, these two are stabil st stabilizers. And uh, since this is the frame of the Batmobile, 
this is an early version of the bike. I made it better, I made it more stable. Oh shit. So if we uh, tilt this around, it's a nightmare to get it around again. But you see the st stabilizing thrusters is doing their job. With You can see the sensors underneath here. So they are at 6. So when this when the ground get nearer the sensor, this one gets activated and it's balanced again. Okay, so what you do is basically... Um, I built the bike first. Because then I can put the car... Okay, we drive there, we drive there. If I put the car on the lift, it's okay. Since the car was built after the bike. But if I put the bike on the lift, all the connections are gone. I can show you since we, uh, we're gonna build it anyway. So this one, put it up here. Right, still connected. The other way. This one on the lift. Yeah, that will happen. So the car doesn't have a seat to control it anymore, so all the engines and everything is going. So this, um, this will be fun. Okay, let's take this one. Yeah, and that also happens. You will see me doing this later in the video also just have to get it in place hmm. god damn it it's hard to reach that thing because <laughs> it's behind the Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. So, um, how are we gonna do this? Okay, let's put it on the lift again. So this is the starting. Yeah, whatever. And this is my link. So if I do this, this will be basically almost the same as I did with the, the original Batmobile. Okay, something like that. And then... Like this. Right, and like this, and like this, this is not going to be a pretty car, I promise you that just to show you okay and then a wheel here wheel here We can use, uh, I guess we can use the same engine, it doesn't matter really. Or does it? Oh 
god. Uh, I have to think. Why are those driven by the engine? Doesn't really matter, I guess. They spin in air. Okay, forgot to forget that. Let's just put on an engine. Like that, right way. Up to this one. Right, and then down here. Drive, whatever. Come on. Turn this. And then, just to keep it in place, this bar is, of course, not on the original Batmobile. I think maybe it will be a bit heavy in the front. Okay, so let's try that one. Okay. So if I get in the seat now. Yes. So this is one, one car. Very ugly one though. But it works, right? And if I remove the link, I don't think you can have it on lift while removing the link. I wouldn't do that. So we do it like this. Okay, this was stupid. The problem now is if I if I make one change on the bike, even though it isn't on the lift. If I make one change, I think you can, yes, you can color it. That's the only thing you can do. And go to the um, controllers and change the, you know, what you call it, bearings. But if you may make, uh, if you add a block on the bike or remove a block, it's done. Get stuck every time I put it on the lift. Okay. So now you can see they don't have a link, but it's still connected. Cool. So that's basically what I did to make the to make the Batmobile. So some people believe it's two people driving them, and other believe it's a mod and. I guess most people knew about this glitch, but now you know. So, it's stuck, goddammit. And I will show you uh, the complete Batmobile and um, what I have to do to get it driving. And here it is. As you can see, it looks like shit because of those front wheels and the frame rates are killing me. So I basically have a hole in here to remove the link. And remember, every time I'm going to use this Batmobile, this is how. This is what I have to do. And then, when it's disconnected, I can take the... Come on. I can take the car, not the bike, and put it on the lift, and we're back. And these two, I don't remember why, but they are set to minus 60. Only 
to make it able to do that. Right, and then this one has to be filled in. And uh, these bars in the front window has to be made. I won't do that now. Looks better when it's the complete car. <laughs> and you see here, it's all the same as uh, on the frame. Just more blocks make it look like the Batmobile. Dresters, hood with the logo, and a grill. Pretty cool though. And then we can try to do this one more time. It's uh, it's harder than it looks, I tell you. Okay, today this is not good. Let's do the rest from here. And you see when the car gets closer to the bike, the frames drop drastically. Get in there. There we go. Perfect. And uh, you can see it's not playable. Now we have five, four, three frames per second. So you can imagine making the showcase on this car. It took some time. But I think that's it. So uh, tune in next time and we'll take another creation or maybe a new one. And um, yeah, see you guys. Bye.